Edwards was 26 years old when he became a MasterChef finalist and over the last nine years has become a caterer, a writer and is now a regular chef on ITV's Lorraine. When I've got this? a Moroccan feast for you today. Right. They say it's gluten free, it's meat free, it's right. also sugar free. Freaky. And it's dairy free. Right, but it still tastes good. And it tastes amazing. You wouldn't think that it's come from a cauliflower. This is exciting. Jeez. This is great food. When I was a kid, one of the first things that I did in the kitchen was baking and I absolutely loved it. Just get the kids involved. They're more likely to want to eat the food if they're in the kitchen actually helping out. Don't eat any. Okay. You sure? Promise? Promise. <laughs> All right. I no, no cheating. Master Chef, as an experience, is one I will never ever forget. Just in time for the barbecue season, this is my recipe for bacon barbecue corn served with a delicious lime and chili butter. James's dessert, apples and calvados. I can see Greg in there doing cartwheels already. We've got some amazing vegetables here. Bang these straight on the barbecue. The next stage of this, I'm going to make a minted salsa verde. So, a salsa verde sounds quite posh. Do you know what? It's not. Okay. Right, it's basically, it's, a green, it's sauce. green sauce, exactly. <laughs> you don't have to be a surgeon with this, just run your knife through. And I like to include the root as well, it's got loads and loads of flavour. So let's start with the quinoa. It's a source of fibre and protein, but it's really, really good to substitute for rice or couscous. Dead simple to cook too. That's the sort of food I like, you know. I do like okay. an occasional egg. Right, yes. I'm going to show you a couple <laughs> of new ways then that you can enjoy your eggs. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing a mushroom and goat's cheese tortilla. Really easy recipes and yeah. great on the wallet. So these have had 35, 40 minutes in the oven and you can see they're not sticking to the foil and we've got loads of caramelization, which is going to really add bags of flavor. I'll show you a really quick tip on how to prep a leek. So just lay it on your board. Yep and try and get the smaller ones. Sometimes when they're grown, they tend to get a lot of grit. So just use your knife and just kind of open it up a little bit and almost just gonna kind of create a little bit of a paintbrush effect. And then what you can do, you can rinse it off in there. So any so grit easy. comes yeah. out. Just give our prawns a toss. So my prawns are done now. And there we have it. That is real fast food. Basic sponge mix, right. very, very simple. So in here, oops, look at that. Hello. I've just gone absolutely <laughs> crazy with the, uh, with the whisk. That's okay, don't worry. Sorry, it's Lorraine. No, it's okay. That's, that's one for the bloopers, eh? <laughs> right. For me, it's a classic case of someone trying to overcomplicate and bring too many elements to the table. You know, if you spent a little bit less time on his garnish and more time on getting the main elements of his dish correct, he could have had a good dish here. What do you think, babe? Mm. Now again. <laughs>